Nico, baby girl, can you go fight in the other room, please? Can you go fight in the other room? Okay, great. Thanks. This is the 217 Recovery Podcast with Corey Winfield. If you commit to something, do it. If you don't want to do it, say no. But if you say yeah and you committed to something, you got to do it. Stick it out. Do it. And co-host Marnie Winfield. My rent is paid. I have a roof over my head. I'm married to the most amazing man in the world who cares about me and supports me, keeps me safe. And I don't know. I got it all. It is the 15th of March, 2022. My name is Corey Winfield. My name is Marnie Winfield. And welcome to the 217 Recovery Podcast. I met a preacher the other day. I don't know his name. I can't remember. I think he's <laughs> listening, though. What's up? How you doing? He's like, you do a podcast? I was like, I'm glad you can read shirts, homie. What's up? How's Jesus? You talk to him today? And he's like, yeah, I talk to him every day. No, none of that part really happened. Right, but. right. In my, in my mind, it'd be kind of cool. But no. Uh, hey, what's up, man? We're going to talk about stuff now. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. He's, I don't think this would be his kind of thing. Mm. But I did tell him. I gave him a, one of our brochures. I was like, if you know anybody who needs help, man, you know, we don't judge and we understand. Where was that at? The Meyer. Uh-huh. Manistee, Michigan, nice. USA, America, the Earth. Just in case A. Leland's listen, mm. so they can pick up these transmissions. I heard, mm-hmm. saw it on a movie. No, but for real, I, I did see something the other day about spies. I think this show is called Sp- Sp- Spy Something. I don't remember. It's, I want to say it's called Spy Me, but that's is no, that right? Yeah, no, it's I don't know. It's not spy versus spy, but it's, I, I don't even remember what it was on Netflix. No. <laughs> anyway, there's a spy show. It was really awesome. It has the guy from, or no, Billionaire or Billions or something. He was in the World War II HBO stuff, Band of Brothers. Oh, He's okay. the red hair guy. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, who I have no idea what his name is, but I don't know who you're talking about. But I didn't know he was British AF. Really? Yeah. Wow, kind of pulls it up pretty good in that. I know. I keep series. thinking about that. I'm like, man, I feel duped. Yeah. You know how we're gonna get a British guy to play that guy? Huh. War hero, American war hero. Right. And I was like, I bet he was like on camera, like talking English and stuff. And then when he got done, he would, well, however British people talk. <laughs> Can I get a spot of tea or however he talks? Mm-hmm. And man, that messed me up. I'm like, dude, you got you got to stay in character, bro. So you sure he wasn't practicing British? positive okay i was gonna say because you can do that too yeah that would that would be stupid that would make no sense for the show because it's talking about the earth of the world the every country Mm -hmm. on earth and how russia and all these spies and the stuff's going on today still and you would be surprised your neighbor could be from russia Hmm. and a spy never know Oh, that was pretty interesting, though. You Actually, get all wrapped up in these late night weird I, shows. I was gonna say it kept me up all night. Like I think I might have got like two hours of sleep that night, maybe three. I just I roll over and then I hear him talking about this, and I'm like, I gotta watch this. Hold on, roll back over and just and it's three o'clock and then it's four o'clock. Maybe that's why I'm grumpy. I don't know. I haven't been sleeping too well the last few days. Then I had a dreamy stuff with my brother. I was like, what? Yeah, you told me about that. That's creepy. Mm-hmm. I know, right? Like, who dreams about that? That was more of a nightmare. I, was, I, was, I think I hate you when you wake up from dreams. And you're just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I do know, actually. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, you had a dream that I was hooking up with somebody that My you knew. My cousin. Yeah, yeah. Man, those dreams are horrible. Why do we get nightmares about us sleeping with our relatives? I don't know. Each other's relatives. Maybe I should talk to Jesus. Maybe I should ask that preacher That's that. messed up. I'm like, hey, man, ask Jesus why I'm having these dreams. Hmm. But at least in my dream, I wasn't like trying to hook up with your family members, and you weren't trying to hook up with my family members. Like, we weren't the bad people in the dreams, at least. Mm. Well, I wasn't bad in my dream. You weren't bad in your dream. Right. So... That's all that really matters. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Went to a different meeting today that I'd never been to. Yeah, I heard it was good. In Traverse City. It was. It was good. It was only my friend and myself and then the lady chairing and then the other guy. 
So I talk like five times because mm-hmm. I like to hear myself talk. And the guy that w- went with me, he just started laughing because I, I said that after like the third time. I was like, well, so someone else is talking because mm-hmm. we read for like mm, 10 minutes mm-hmm. out of this book called Drop the Rock. You ever picked up that book? No. Okay. Maybe that's not the name of it then. But it has to do with like the sixth and seventh step maybe. It was pretty mm-hmm. interesting though. We were on page six and we read that all the way through like to page seven <laughs> we did a lot of reading <laughs> but but the stuff that it was talking about though and my friend like i don't even know if he realized but he said he's like yeah you know i have a defective character and i know what they are i just don't do anything about them and that's like what we were reading mm-hmm. it was about how they did this study or something and survey essay and it was talking about how these people they know their defects of character but instead of doing something about it, they just embellish it. It's like they're, that's their excuse. Mm-hmm. So they keep going back to that over and over. Well, I know that's wrong with me, but there's nothing I can do about it. I was born that way. You know, sometimes they'll go into that. But instead of taking that energy and fo- for <laughs> talking <Whoa. laughs> words, instead of doing that with words, <laughs> instead of like doing something about it. Mm-hmm. You know, taking that energy and that effort to change, but change is hard. That's what it said in there. Change mm-hmm. is painful sometimes, even though what they're doing to themselves by not changing is even more painful. Right. And, you know, obviously you and I, we've changed. Mm-hmm. And was it easy? I don't know. It, it, for me, it was kind of fun. Some it, it's never fun for me not knowing what tomorrow's going to bring, not having it all planned out. And that might be some of the control issues, but. It's harder when you fight it. It is. If you are willing and ready to change, it happens on its own. The guy that was there was talking about the difference between knowledge and wisdom. Okay. Okay. And he said that um, when you know something, it's it's like firsthand, like knowledge. And if you hear it from you know somebody else's wisdom, and he gave an example. He's like, all right, if we're, my friend and I are, are up on the biggest hill in town and we're going to go sledding, like I'm like, bro, you're like 65. Like, I don't think you should be sledding with your friends. I didn't say that again. But he did say that. And he's like, all right, and... My friend goes first and he goes down the hill and he comes to this area, he hits this hole and that shoots him off into this tree. He bounces off the tree and then he hits this fence on the way down and he comes back up and he's like, Hey man, like just let you know, if you go that way, you're going to hit this bump and you're going to hit this tree and you're going to hit this fence. You know, that's knowledge that he passed on. Well, now the guy has wisdom from that. Hmm. I told him, I was like, well, my problem is, I'd be like, well, no, because I have a blue sled and that's not going to happen to me. Watch. I hit everything. And like they said, then I come back up and I'm like, well, I just need to pull my sled like this and it won't happen to me. And then I do it again. And and that's my problem is I think I can Mm -hmm. change it to where, no, 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 I'm I'm still going to take that same path, but it'll be different. Yeah. And uh, let me just change this little part here. And no, mm -mm, no. So my problem is I just need to not go sledding, which is what I'm doing now. You know, if you want to use that as drinking, you know, like, no, nah, I, I just don't drink. And, and it's not just don't drink because a lot of people just, well, I just don't drink. And then they become dry drunk. They're just miserable. But I'm actually living a life of recovery in recovery and it feels good. And you have to do that. And on the way home, I was talking to the guy that I went with and he was just like, yeah, man, I, I, I have to go get it. You know, and I told him every day, you know, you have to you have to get it every day. And again, some days better than others. But if you can be just a little bit better today than yesterday, after a year, you're going to be 365 times better than you were when you started. Yeah. And you want to commend people for trying, but it's like, I know I'm trying. It's like, well, try harder. You know, that's what, that's sometimes what it takes, you know, keep pushing yourself. I had a saying there for a while that I don't believe in the word try. And it's kind of true. You either do it or you don't. I'm going to try to do it. Are you, are you going to? No, you're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. I'll try. Huh? 
You're going to try a flavor of ice cream? Hmm, I'll try that. But, oh, well, I'll try to make it tomorrow. No, you're either going to be there or you're not going to be there. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> but you have to have the word try in vocabulary. Yeah, when you're trying you ice like, cream flavors. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like you're saying, you're, you're either going to be there or you're not going to be there, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the end result, but the attempt to try to coordinate your day to make that happen, that's, I'll try to do that. To make it there. <laughs> you don't, you can't, if you take you the gonna, word out, then what? you're like, I'll make, I'll be there. And then you don't make it there. Then you say, hmm, not sure. God willing. <laughs> if the day permits. You just don't want to use the word try. Yeah, because it, a lot of people, they do that. They just throw it off. And especially for us early in recovery. Oh yeah, I'll try. Yeah, I'll try. No, you're not. You're not. You're not going to do it. I'd say 80% of the time when you say you're going to try, you're not. And you know you're not. So just say no. And that's our open today, too. Like, when you say, if you're going to do it, if you're going to commit to it, do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to go get this person tomorrow and uh, take them from treatment to this other place. No, I'm going to do it. Well, how about, like, I'm going to try to read the first three chapters of my book tonight. <laughs> I might fall asleep, right? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to get through the first three chapters. Well, then you're going to start reading the first three chapters. You're not going to try. You're going to. Well, what if I don't make it all the way to the third chapter? You didn't say you were going to make it to the third type chapter. You said you were going to start reading. But that if I say try, that means I have a goal point, And maybe then I will make it there because I'm like, I said I was going to try to make it do the first three. I'm gonna so start, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start reading the book tonight, starting at chapter one. Hopefully I make it to chapter three. <laughs> <laughs> I might fall asleep. Just you're doing all of this just so I'm you just don't it, use is, the word try. You, doesn't it sound a lot better? You're setting a plan. If you say I'm going to try to read it, you're going to go right in that bed. And See, you're gonna fall but asleep. your intonation and stuff is ma is making the decision for you. Yeah, I'm going to start reading that tonight. That means I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to read that tonight. See what I'm saying? Like it really does matter. I'm telling you. I even went through this with Rob and Rob. Bless his heart. He gets so frustrated with me. You know how you get, but he's like times a billion. And it used to be really hilarious. I loved early on uh, in, the, in the episodes in like 2019 goes to some of those. You'll hear me just saying stuff that I don't even believe or whatever, just to piss Rob off. Cause he would just get like, Ugh! <laughs> like <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, miss Rob. Hopefully he's all right. And Yeah. Um, anyway, but I'm, I'm right on this though. Trust me. Okay. I mean, you can try to trust me. <laughs> no, you try flavors of ice cream. You try different personal lubricants. You don't try to do something because you either do it or you don't. Don't use the word try for a week and let me know how that goes. All right. You can give it a try. <sighs> I said, all right. Okay. 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 So. Big day coming up. A couple days. Mm -hmm. It's birthday. And I'm so proud of you. Yeah. You did a fundraiser for 217 Recovery on Facebook for your birthday. Yeah, I did. And your mother wrote some sweet, amazing things. She did. That was very nice of her. It really was. I think your mom likes me. She loves you. Aw. That was, that was very sweet. It made me feel good. She's like her sweet husband and life partner. Aw. Yeah, she loves you. Yeah, that that really felt good, though. You know, because she was talking about 217 Recovery, and she even mentioned that we're going to do the outreach with mm -hmm. the van. Mm -hmm. That Addiction Treatment Services was like, hey, you want to do this? Yeah, we do. So that was very cool. And she gave props for that. And yeah, it's it's good when people believe in you. Yeah. You know, and. I'd like to say that, oh, that doesn't matter to me. I'm, but it, it does. You know, it, it does feel good. You know, when people say, hey, you're doing a great job. Yeah. Thank you. That's what you say. Thank you. But it's hard for us sometimes to say that. Mm -hmm. oh, I could be doing better. You if I wasn't trying a, all the time. To, you have a really hard time with that. And I was trying to get that video made today to send to Sony, but mm, didn't do that. You always say, I could have done more. I know. I feel like, like I could. You got a lot done today. Ah, oh, not really. Oh, no, yeah. You always say that. Because I don't ever get enough done. 
And it doesn't matter, no matter how much you get done, you always say you could have done more. Mm -hmm. You need to take that out of your vocabulary, mister. I should have done more. (laughs) (laughs) I should have tried harder, huh? No. Just give yourself credit for the things that you did accomplish and feel Mm. good about them. I had a total list. I had such a long list of things today and I didn't accomplish push much on it i had a meeting though that was cool like i said but that's good i didn't drink today mm-hmm. i prayed today oh, that's about it <laughs> i did a mindfulness meditation guided meditation on boundaries that was really good i heard a little bit of that yeah those kind of meditations are i mean you gotta sift through them i know it seems weird because if you really feel like you need a guided meditation the last thing you want to do is like test out the first three minutes of four or five of them. But it's worth it when you find, uh, I don't know if you want to call it like a site, you know, because some of them are different. Like they'll be the same structure and the same person speaking, but they'll be on different topics. Hmm. So um, anyway, I really enjoyed it. I enjoy them. Guided meditations. You don't even necessarily have to get into the, I mean, for me, I follow what they're ta- what they're saying, but um, for even for purposes of just taking your mind off the world for a minute and just being like being in the moment, you know, practicing mindfulness and accepting the now. It's I'm, really it's really calming. I have a hard time with that. I mean, I love doing meditation, but the guided stuff, I don't know. I think you just need to find the right one. Like I like to get in the zone and just, and it feels like I'm out of my body almost, but I hear everything that's going on and it's like, I'm time traveling the most. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause I don't know. It, it, I'm like, it's like I'm somewhere else. It's really weird, but I'm not sleeping. Well, sometimes I am, but it's really weird. Then I just open my eyes and it's like, oh, it was 20 minutes had gone by. Mm-hmm. Where were you at? And like, I don't know. I've, I heard every, I don't know. It's crazy. It's, but it, I feel so refreshed. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah, I need to do that more. I need to try to do that more. Hmm. Well, I mean, <laughs> the, the thing I like about them, like the guided meditations, you can, it's almost like you make your own video in your head you know because they will be like you're walking down a path in a forest you know mm-hmm. if you actually put that imagery out in everybody's brain of what that looked like everybody's would be totally different that's the cool part i think about it you know nobody's forest is going to be the same nobody's the way the path looks is going to be the same not, not the weather's not going to be the same the things around it are not going to be the same and it's like you just create your own like your own visualization of whatever it is that they're explaining, you know, in the meditation. And sometimes it gets a little cheesy, not going to lie, but um, stay with it. And it's worth it, I think. I, was, I think it was treatment number six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, eight. Uh huh. We did a guided meditation and it was like we we're at a, a lighthouse tower thing. Mm-hmm. I guess, yeah, lighthouse. And we were supposed to go up it, like the spiral steps, and they were narrow. And I don't know, it was it was pretty cool, but it was it was different than like leaving my body for twenty minutes. Mm. So you just do regular meditation. Do you put music on? Yeah, usually NWA or <laughs> Beastie Boys. Oh no. my god! Yeah, I'll do the doodly doodly doodly, or whatever it is. However it goes. Yeah, I put some on. Like and I, Zen music. Yeah, I do that because I feel like sometimes I could really just be gone for a long time. But I know when the music, when I hear it stop, it's like, okay, it's been 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. But when sometimes I'll turn it on and they won't say anything for a minute. And they'll be like, now breathe in. I'm, oh, geez, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> it messes me up. I'm like, I don't want to breathe out. I've been breathing in, man. So critical. 
<laughs> this, I didn't want to hear that, you know? So you just got to, like you said, just find the ones that you like. Mm-hmm. And if you had to listen to it for a couple minutes, that's cool. You know, mm-hmm. do it when you drive. Well, don't meditate when you're driving, but you can listen to stuff when you're driving. I mean, a lot of the feedback that I get from other people is that it's just, that was really relaxing, you know, regardless of if you actually like followed the, follow the instructions through the, throughout the guided meditation in terms of visual visualization, if I could use that word. (laughs) So, but I think they're helpful and I, I didn't really, they're helpful for what they're worth is take what you get, take what you want out of it. All right. So try meditating. Or you can meditate, meditate. Yeah, there you go. See, thank you. Thank you. And see how it goes Mm -hmm. or not meditate. Yeah. You're either going to do it or you're not. That's exhausting trying to see. I can't just use it right there. <laughs> you can say the word try, but just not in terms of whether you're going to do something or not. Oh, that's a little easier. <laughs> trying different methods. Okay, you can do that. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, just give it a week. You're, I'm shaking my head no, like, <laughs> no, you're not going to do it. I'll, I will. Give it a shot. I will. Uh, it's the same thing as trying. I'll, I will. I'll give it a shot. All right. Well, that's pretty much, I think, it. Um, hopefully, we'll be telling you and talking about this event that's coming up. I mean, we're going to talk about it regardless, but kind of waiting to see what's going on with that. So, yeah, there's your tease, which is probably a really bad one, but... Mm-hmm. There is an event coming up, and we're going to tell you all about it. Mm-hmm. And hopefully we're involved. And our little kitten's going to the vet tomorrow. Yeah, she's getting the old spade job done. She doesn't even know it. Look, at she's being so cute and nice. She's like, when I grow up, I'm going to have tons of kittens. No, you're not. She is being nice. They didn't fight or nothing. I know. I, see, I noticed that, and we'll, we'll finish on this real quick, but. Earlier they were fighting, and normally, and earlier she jumped on the TV and she likes to like, hey, I want to be like really close. And of course, <laughs> we know because we grew up in the era of you sit too close to the TV, you're gonna go blind, you're gonna whatever. Well, she sits right up next to it, so I was like, hey, you're gonna go blind, and she didn't care. And so I would start, hey, get down, you know, use my you're in trouble voice, mm-hmm. and she just gets like all oh, crazy ass and just doesn't listen. And today I was like, hey, can you get down from there, please? You know, and she was like, yeah. <laughs> and I, so I was like, hmm. And then I went in the kitchen and they were like fighting. And I was like, hey, you guys, can can you cannot do that in here? And then Nico, of course, because she knows English pretty well, she looks at me and she's like, meh. I was like, yeah, can you can you not do that? Can you guys just give each other lovings and be good girls? And then they just both started being good. Wow. So there's something to that. You know, it's not... Just because you're not agreeing with the action that's going on doesn't mean you need to act like all rawr, you know, and that probably goes back to childhood and and the way I've seen other people act, Mm -hmm. you know, they don't like something, damn it, they're mad and they're going to tell you about it. Right. Our cat, they don't respond well to yelling. No. So try that out too. (laughs) (laughs) No. Give it a shot. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that because I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. But thank you for how to raise your how to raise your cats. Yep. Corey went failed. Inside voice with them. Don't yell. Just because you're dissatisfied with their actions doesn't mean you need to be all crazy man and yell at them. Or crazy woman and yell at them. (laughs) Just saying. Use that method. I'll let you know in a week if it's still working because that's what I'm going to try. Yes. <laughs> I think that that is, that is different. That is a good try. I think I'm going to use it. Okay. All right. <laughs> 217 recovery.com is of course our website, our app. We've kind of changed it. It's themed for St. Patrick's day. Yeah. So go check that out. If you haven't downloaded our app yet, it's free. And we're going to have, hopefully before May, but I guess in May last year is when we started posting 
to the daily readings and reflections. So you can go to our mm -hmm. app and read them. But I think I might revisit that calendar thing when I have time and maybe start it up earlier. I'll let you know on that too. But check out our app. There's some videos on there. Every single podcast we've done since 2019. Lots of podcasts. Yeah, go pick them. Different hosts, different co-hosts. Well, I guess not host, but we've had different people along the way. So check that out. Listen to some Marnie's early days. Yeah. Before she knew what she was getting herself into. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thanks a lot. I appreciate you listening. And we'll talk to you on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Night, everybody. Thanks for listening to the 217 Recovery Podcast. Be on the lookout for a big old van in northern Michigan. To find out where it will be, check the app or 217recovery.com. Have you recorded that? Oh. <laughs> More that. That's a big old van. <laughs>